instruction number one. So we'll begin by writing the name of the Naisu Khufu. Now the Naisu Khufu is famous uh, not only for being one of the famous builders of the pyramids of Giza, but he was also uh, attributed to having a famous piece of literature written during his time, which is one of my favorite pieces called The Tale of King Khufu's Court. Now, in this particular papyri, it talks about his sons who were attempting to entertain him by telling him a series of stories. So one son, Jerefre, or he who speaks Re, or Ra, gets up and starts to talk about a story in which one of the ancestors, who was also Naisu, our ruler, was suffering from some form of uh, depression. So he says, you know what, Father? We had an ancient Naisu who didn't feel good. So what he did was call his spiritual advisor, Jaja Monk. So Jaja Monk came out and said, what seems to be the problem? Naisu. Naisu says to him, before I tell him what Naisu says, this is now the Medu Netter. The Medu meaning the words, the Netter meaning the nature, forces of nature, the divinities, or the divine speech, Medu Netter. Now we're gonna go into the transliteration, which is how it sounds. So, Judge Monk says to him, what seems to be the problem? And the nice suit says, well, you know, I've been feeling too good. So Judge Monk says, I got just a thing for you. What I need you to do, I need you to call 40 virgins, I'm sorry, 20 virgins. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is probably my own tale. 20 virgins, I want you to have them be banging. That means they gotta have, and this is what it says in the ancient literature. Big breast and a beautiful big body. This is not what I made up. This is what they made up. Okay. So then you take off all their clothes and replace them with nets. Yes, this is what it says. So they get into the boat. They put the nice suit on this boat and they begin rowing. And sure enough, just like if I was on that boat, the nice suit begins to smile and everything's better again. Halfway through the adventure, they just stop rowing for no reason. Now, Sue says, what seems to be the problem, ladies? So the leader says, guess what? I lost my ear. You know these are some sisters. So, of course, Cha Cha Monk comes out and says, uh-oh, you know what? I need to make the nice suit happy again. What can I do? So we'll pause for a second. I've written up the Madu transliteration. Now I'm writing up the standard English for you. So, Cha Cha Monk comes out and says, I got just the thing. I'm holding my staff. Say the words of power, he said them, and then sure enough, the water flipped up on its edge a couple of cubits, left the dry spot where you could see a shell, and on top of that shell was the air. He goes down and retrieves it, gives it to the leader. Sure enough, they begin rowing again, and Ma'at has been restored. Fascinating story. But it was also very similar to a story you probably heard before by someone by the name of Moses who did that exact same uh, style. But what I'm doing now is putting a chenou around the name to solidify it as royalty. So, once again, King Khufu, one of my favorite um, nice suits of the old dynasty or any dynasty. Together, the great peers of Mizza Giza and also had great literature attributed to his name, Makaru.